Hello everyone, we are officially live. I'm trying this live thing as well, I think on shorts. Unfortunately, you all won't be able to see Mons on that version, uh, but welcome in to anybody who's new. This is our She Speaks podcast, which you can listen in podcast form, or you can watch us here on different platforms. So if you're joining us from any other platforms outside of Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or the Shorts platform as well, welcome in. I'm super excited to have you all in here. This is actually going to be our first podcast of 2024. It's kind of crazy that we're already in February. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, be sure to subscribe right now and um, be sure to subscribe as well to all of my other platforms. And um, some exciting news, we do have an editorial site up and running. So if you haven't been to our Shade uh, Studios website, be sure to go to Shade Studios to check out all of our editorial uh, different content that we're putting up. If you prefer to read about sneakers or even are interested in entertainment, specifically movies and TV shows, we are definitely up and running on that platform. So super excited to see all of the additional team members that we're bringing on board this year and uh, seeing some great expansion for Shade TV. Uh, but we are in the works of working on a completely new channel as well. I know that most of you are here to support us for sneakers and it has been a moment since we've put up some sneaker content but we're going to be getting back into the rhythm of things here shortly uh, but I'm going to bring on Mons and we're going to talk about what's been going on for 2024 so far what's been happening in January some of our recent pickups that we've had uh, as well as maybe topics that uh, just have been going and surfacing around the uh, sneaker industry Yes, I did, His Excellence. Um, good to see you all in here, though. I know it's been a minute, so Terrence, uh, Chris, uh, Retro Kicks, it's amazing to always have your support and to see you all in here with me live, but um, I'm going to bring on my co-host, Mons, here in a second, and uh, yeah, let's get this party started here. Oh, wait, where did my little screen go? Let me just bring Mons in. Give me one second, everyone. We're going to be bringing Mons in here in a second. If you don't already follow Mons, be sure to check her out. She's got a great YouTube channel as well, and uh, she's got some great styling tips as well where she kills the game pumping out amazing content on different looks. And uh, yeah, we are looking for a great 2024 year where we get to talk about our kicks. Having just a couple technical difficulties, but we're gonna bring her in a second. All right, here she is. Hey, Mons. Welcome in. Super excited to be back at it, talking about sneaks with you. Yeah, we've got just, oh, it's crazy. I feel like January flew by, and I think for some people it was like the slowest month, but for me I was just like, wow, what's been going on? I mean, I've got like my notebook of goals in front of me right here of like what I wanted to accomplish in January. I did not complete that at all, but, you know, that's cool. You know, we do we do what we can do. Um, so, yeah, I know that January has been kind of a weird month, and I feel like every year – it's always quiet and slow. There's not as much excitement behind the releases out of the gate, but I kind of like it. It's like my refresh month. <laughs> Yeah. 
and it's a leap year, so we get we get some extra time, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got a couple topics. I know a few of you probably have already seen it in the news or even on Twitter. Uh, but, you know, just a, a little bit of news always going around in the secret community that Mons and I will kind of go through. And then, of course, we'll talk about a few of our pickups. It has been pretty light, I think, for the both of us. But that's probably great for our wallets, Mons. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right it's okay it's it's for the best I feel like every year I feel like January is always my lighter kind of just slowly making my way into my purchases and yeah I feel like for everyone it's just kind of been a light pickup year but um that's all right say save it we've got how many months left so we can save our money and apply it to each month moving forward <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I mean, one of them I'm going to talk about was a gift anyways. So, um, yeah, you know, a late, a late pickup, but something I really wanted for 2024. Um, but yeah, I mean, I also got seated a couple things, so I'll probably talk about those items as well. Um, but I know that a lot, I feel like has been going on in the kith realm of things. So, uh, for those of you who haven't, seen the news or been talking about the news on the new kind of kith tier membership program i know you know for those of you who've been buying kith for years and years and years i know it'll be great for you specifically because they're going back and actually adding whatever purchases you've made in the past and applying that towards your tiers and they're even actually allowing you to combine uh, different email addresses as well. And I was really thankful for that just because I actually realized I was using two email accounts. And um, when I combined both of them, I was able to make the top tier uh, on things. Yeah. Um, but of course, it also reminded me how much I've spent on Kith <laughs> for the past few years. I'm like, wow. Okay. All right, that, that's a nice little reminder of probably things I purchased and I didn't really actually need, but, um, you know, hopefully it will, I guess, pay it forward this year and unlock some things that maybe we'll have early access to. We'll see, fingers crossed. <laughs> yes, 12, 12 years. I've not, I've not been with Kith for 12 years, Mons, I don't know about you. <laughs> 12 years ago, I could not afford it. Got it. So for those of you who are on the live stream, I know you're saying you can't hear Mons. I wish there was a way, Mons, that I could bring you on my shorts live feed as well. Because I realize now that I'm going live, they can only hear me, but not you. So I feel like I'm going to have to reiterate what Mons is saying to all of you who are on my shorts live. But she is really excited for the tears as well. Um, congrats to anyone who made the top tier level or any of the levels. He's also giving like random opportunities for you to add points, which is kind of cool. So if you download the app or actually go on the app, you're rewarded to have points. Um, I think signing up your email as well, you get points there. If you actually enter raffles, you get points that way. Just cause I feel like a lot of people were probably maybe like a hundred points short or something just like so close where you're like, ah. I don't really want to buy anything right now, but like, 
I'm only 50 points away. Maybe I could get a pair of socks, but like we all know kiss socks are not just like the cheapest in general, but you know, you do what you got to do, I guess, to, to level up. What's up, Raffi, in the house tonight? We got Raffi. We got the, the Pinoy family all, all together, Mons. <laughs> Mm hmm Yep. I forgot about the check-in. I just don't go out enough anymore, I realize. I used to be, I feel like, at the kids' store all the time. And now I'm like, when's the last time that I've had a kids' treats? But then again, it's so cold in New York. The last thing I'm thinking about, honestly, is taking an ice cream outside. But um, the Kids Soho location was always my, like favorite place to just people watch upstairs after you get your ice cream you just kind of like stare and that corner for some reason is the best like fashion runway show you'll ever experience in my opinion I don't know what it is about that one specific like four corner block but like everyone is dressed to impress and it's almost like they know that they need to walk that one street so that people can see their outfit <laughs> I should just hold like numbers outside the window and be like, you're a 10, you're a five, you know, <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> I know we got to get Mons out here, everyone. <laughs> Do we need a Mons fund me trip that we have to create fun, fun Mons to, to be able to fly out here? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's almost just like it's nice to be rewarded in a weird way to buy things. I always was weird about signing and giving my email address to different companies. And now I'm just, with all the great perks, I mean, even Krispy Kreme for my birthday, got a dozen donuts for free for actually just going there 10 times, which I'm sorry, yeah, I go there a lot. Uh, but, uh, you know, being rewarded for small things is great. Oh, we've got Takara in the house. What's good, girl? Good to see you in here. Happy New Year. Hope you're doing well. Takara's also a great, stylish one on the YouTube platform. She always is killing it. And um, yeah, go and follow her as well, everyone. Uh, we need more women out there supporting each other. So it's always good to see, you know, the women holding it down on the YouTube platform because as you know, you can attest moms, it is not easy to create content um, on this space. It is it's a lot of work. It really, really is. And um, I appreciate all the women out there that are, you know, just out there doing your thing and, you know, putting in that that work because I think on the other side of the end of the camera, it looks so easy. But at the end of the day, it's like it's very time consuming. But, you know, we love doing what we do. And that's why we're here together talking about sneakers on this podcast. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, actually, for the Daniel Cathari New Balance release. I don't know if you've seen the photos for that, but as some of you may or may not have heard of who Danielle is, she, I feel like, has been in the sneaker community for quite some time. Um, I feel like I kind of found out about her with her first collaboration she did with Adidas. And do you remember that tracksuit? Like every girl had this tracksuit, and I was jealous because I was like, where did you get that tracksuit? But then, of course, it's it's too late, honestly, at that point, when you see it on someone's body, you're like, oh, it's probably sold out. And uh, yeah, but mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like it definitely set her on the map. Also, like I've looked at her pieces that she's got from her own line, which I think are super dope, but the price point is it's definitely up there. I would say for some of her jackets, it's around like 900 to a grand. So, you know, you really, you really got to love those pieces. Um, but 
whenever you see someone like Danielle do a collaboration with an Adidas, it brings that price down dramatically. So you're getting the best of both worlds, right? You're getting to experience that designer, but you're also, you know, not having to break the bank <laughs> necessarily. I know Takara, it's like, I, I honestly had to just check the site out to see what's going on. There are sales now, but man, like the pieces that she's selling are, they're up there and, but you know, it kind of makes sense though, after looking at her kind of aesthetic, Ronnie's price point as well, it's almost as if like, it makes sense that he selected her to be the creative director because, you know, it's already, I feel like who she is and going back to like Kith as a brand and the look and aesthetic of Kith and the price range, it's just kind of like a good pairing. And I feel like Ronnie almost is trying to create like a, almost a female version, I feel like of like him and what he's done for the Kith brand itself. And the store, I've seen images. I actually haven't been yet, but it looks amazing. Yeah, I know. It looks, I'm probably going to go this week, to be honest with you, just because they're giving, they're giving matcha, uh, I think, desserts out to match the sneakers. Yeah. Cora Bakery from Queens. Yeah. Are you a sweet girl? <laughs> Mons is a sweets girl, everyone on my shorts live. I know you can't hear her. Um, right. I know Mons is definitely the sweets, sweet tooth, which, um, it's exciting though, that she's kind of, you know, bringing a dessert dish that matches the aesthetic and color scheme of the shoe. I feel like it's going to look great. Takara. Yes. You need to come out here again. I feel like it's been a minute Takara, since you've last visited New York, but, um, yeah, we got to do something together. I don't know. I feel like we all have to like plan something. We got to get Mons out here too. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Um, I know that you're planning on going to Asia, so super jealous. I'm going to have to jump in your suitcase, Mons. <laughs> Yay. Well, I'm excited to see it. I know people are asking on the shorts live where the other live is. It's actually playing on other platforms. So it's on YouTube streaming, not in the vertical, but the horizontal frame. So you can see Mons on there as well, or I can kind of like relay some of what Mons is saying to you right now as well. But, um, I didn't know that YouTube just kind of rolled out this new feature. So I actually wanted to kind of test it out, which is exciting. So yeah, we're test driving it. I just wish there was a way to kind of format us, I guess, vertically where you would fit on top of me so they could hear as well. But you know, maybe that's coming. <laughs> Mons, thanks all of you for tuning in on the shorts live as well. Just relaying what she's saying on over to all of you. Uh, and of course, everybody else who is jumping in on our stream from any of the other platforms. Um, but yeah, so what else has been going on in your world as far as uh, pickups, Mons? I know it's been light, as you said. You got your first song. Welcome to the Samba team, Mons. We're so excited for you. And now we know your size because that was the big thing. I was like, Mons, what is your size? Like, I need to know your size. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm proud of you, Mons. I'm like, look, those have some miles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody who can't hear Mons, she's now a Samba believer. She has jumped on the bandwagon. Gonna have to see as her collection unfortunately expands into different colorways and different types of Sambas. Uh, but yeah, that's a great pickup. I guess since we're talking about Adidas, so this was something that was gifted to me for Christmas, and I talked a lot about this last year as this kind of being like probably my like number one pick of 2023, and this is the Wales Bonner collaboration with Adidas. I've already honestly seen a lot of different sneakers that she's going to be coming out with Adidas this year, and I'm really excited about them, but... This by far, every time I wear it, like people legit stop me, even in dark places, because it's so bright and it's the only thing they can see, but they're like, whoa, where did you get these? Uh, so definitely really happy um, to have been gifted these. And yeah, it's just like such a great sneaker that I've been having fun with dressing up and going out with. And of course, like yours, they're extremely dirty, but you can't tell because it's a brown outsole. <laughs> so it looks like I haven't worn them, but I've definitely worn these to many places already. Um, but uh, why do women sneakers better than men sneaker? Why do women sneakers better than men? Are you asking why women sneakers are better than men sneakers? I know that we've definitely been getting a lot more women exclusives um, the past year. I think last year was probably the most women exclusives I've ever seen, like over the decades. Like, I mean, they did a lot last year. Yeah. Mm hmm Takara, I love the gazelles. Yeah, you got to get on the gazelle bandwagon too, Mons. But I've got a bunch of gazelles, Takara. Honestly, like, I got a bunch of them from Europe because I feel like Europe, for some reason, with gazelles... They like own that silhouette out there and they have the best colorways that you don't see in the U.S. And I always get bummed because I'm like, I love this specific silhouette, but it sucks when it's not released in the States because, you know, of course we have different colorways, but it sucks when you see better colorways that you'd rather have than the ones that we have out here. Um, but uh, definitely picked up a lot of gazelles last year that were European exclusives. And unfortunately they actually never released in the States. Um, which is a bummer. Yeah. I got a lot of pastel colorways. I got like a blue, I think it was a coral tone and a yellow, but yeah, like they, I, it is more of a European silhouette that I feel like it's definitely much bigger out there, but it is starting to become, more of a trend again in the US, but definitely I feel like we're going to see a lot more colorways in those more European styles from Adidas this year. We're going to see a bigger rollout of that, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited to see some new colors and I've been seeing just some GR releases of Sambas and the leather quality, like they've really just upped their game with the quality on that silhouette. So it's been pretty exciting and impressive to see that on shelves. 
Um, what else? I, so I did get actually seated this from Jeff Staples. So shout out to Jeff, the homie. Uh, he's been killing it with collabs. Literally. Uh, this is a Puma. And this is a Puma 180. And I've actually, like, I've never seen the silhouette. I believe this is actually brand new. This is a Chinese New Year edition. And I think I actually, let me see here. It came with, I know this is something else. This is with my other Chinese New Year. I have like so many special editions over here that have like these fun little trinkets. Oh, here it is. So the box is six. So I really want to show everybody what the box looks like. We've got the red envelope on the top with Staples name. And then it's really cool. So we've got like the dragon on the side there. But Puma, I'm it's hit or miss for me with Puma. And I really like this. I'm not going to lie. Like Jeff did his thing. It has such a really cool aesthetic. I think that the colorway on this is really cool. I'll try and hold it up on both cameras so you can kind of see the wear and tear. He made it very vintage just so it's kind of got that you know, already lived in kind of feel. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I always love Jeff's collabs. I always feel like they're very wearable and it's definitely always around some cool storyline but he really did this thing with this one and I'm really excited for him and of course he's always got like a million different collabs he's pumping out left and right so I always try and keep up with him but um I'm so thankful shout out to Jeff again for sending these my way uh I actually you know what I got a shirt with this too I haven't even um boxed this shirt so I guess we'll do it now for all of you but there's also a capsule collection with this Puma release. And this shirt actually aesthetically matches perfectly. It's the same kind of cream color. Ooh, the back though. I have to show the back. The Year of the Dragon. big year the year of the dragon i'm the year of the tiger any year of the dragons out there <laughs> i always thought i was a dragon but i that was me as a kid i think i thought a tiger was a dragon as a young child and my mom was like no that's not a dragon that's a tiger i'm like oh are you sure mom she's like yeah so, are you positive she's like yeah that's tiger sweetie i'm like okay mom the dragon <laughs> Right? I'm like, whatever you say. But I guess sticking with the Chinese New Year, I also got the Air Jordan 1 Low Chinese New Year edition. And this is really cool. It's kind of got, you know, the jade effect going on here. And we've got some gold on the back. For those of you who celebrate Chinese New Year or don't know much about the history of it, um, red is a good luck color. Eight also, very lucky. And my channel has a lot of eights on it right now. So it is my, my year. I feel it. All the eights. I was actually 888 for the first week of February. So I don't know what that means, but I feel like it means something. <laughs> yeah. Let me actually, I haven't even opened up this little envelope to see what's inside. Yeah, so this actually came with it, and it has a little charm. Yeah, I'm like, let me show it to both cameras so everybody sees. There's actually a jump man. Let me put my hand behind it so you can see. Do you see the jump man? So I'm going to show it in there. Mm-hmm. Somebody says I'm the year of the Megalodon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's an option uh, on the Chinese calendar, but okay. 
Maybe that's another month that we don't know about. <laughs> Okay, all right, Shaquem. Uh, what do we think about the Palermo from Puma? I've seen them. I think I don't hate them. I think that, you know, aesthetically, they came out with some really cool colors, Takara, on that silhouette. Um, I haven't really branched out too much into the, the Puma rain. I feel like I owned one Puma in high school. I wasn't huge into Puma way back when um but you know i think puma has really been coming out with some great silhouettes uh the last one i had jeff did as well and um that aesthetic was like a black and white tone you can't go wrong with a black and white sneaker in my opinion it's just like you wear it with everything <laughs> right <laughs> that's me with adidas to car i know it's it's hard honestly somebody on the shorts was even saying like asics is where it's at right now and and i i feel you on that i do think that you know brands like asics are really having a moment it's kind of a sneaker i feel like if you walk into a Foot Locker, you would never see on shelves and now you're starting to see them take more shelf space uh Times are evolving. I think that sneakers we would never think to see on shelves, like On and Hoka right now, are front and center. Whenever I go into sneaker stores, that is what all the women in the women's section are buying. Uh, I'm not seeing them. Yeah, like that's kind of the movement right now. And I, I think that people are definitely getting into this. I want to have a good sneaker I can work out in, but I also want a good looking sneaker where I can go out afterwards and go have brunch with my friends or go and do something, you know, fun, but still feel stylish in a way. Uh, and it's, it's always different every year. And I feel like Asics and Solomon are really doing their thing with that kind of transitional sneaker. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, and I feel like ASICs definitely, when I was going through rehab, when I blew out my ACL, like ASICs, that was what I wore because it was just like the only sneaker that I felt like fit my foot well. And I felt like I wasn't going to hurt myself anymore. <laughs> you have the Margellus. <laughs> Dakar, you got the Margellus Solomons? Okay. <laughs> Look at you. I mean, this is honestly the first Hoka that I've had in my collection. This is the Satisfy collaboration um, I think we talked about this a little bit last year, but this is kind of Hocus Push for more of a lifestyle silhouette. And, um, you know, they're doing some fun, quirky collaborations. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, what brands like Hoka and Asics and the Ons decide to do. Because like Takara's saying, she's got her Solomons even that are Margiela. Like we're seeing these not so typical high-end designer brands deciding to partner with these performance-based companies. And like, if I look back 20 years ago, which is kind of crazy to think about, right? Like you would never put two types of brands together. Like I would never think that Gucci would ever partner up with a brand like Adidas. You know, those are things that just, they were in two separate lanes and they just kind of stayed there. And now it's just like you're seeing these collaborations on collaborations where we're getting like triple to quadruple collaborations on the sneaker. Sometimes I can't even remember. I'm like, did I forget somebody that did a collab on this or is it just me? <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, here we are. And I guess on that note, as we're 
getting ready for Valentine's Day. It was so sad. Like, I was getting my donuts today from Krispy Kreme, and the guy uh, that was ringing me up or whatever, it's his birthday or something, but um, I'm like, oh, yeah. We were having a conversation something. He was like, but my heart was broken today. And I was just like, oh, that's so sad. But then the girl ratted on him and is like, he's lying to you. And I actually felt bad. Like, I really felt bad for him. Like, something had actually seriously happened, but the girl ratted him out. So I was like, all right, I don't feel bad for you. You owe me free donuts next time I come in here. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, because what a terrible place to be a Krispy Kreme when it's like all decked out in Valentine's Day aesthetic and you're selling heart donuts, but your heart's broken. I'd be cutting all the heart donuts in half. Like, here you go. Have a, have a great Valentine's Day. And they're like, did you just cut my donut in half? I'm like, it's just my heart hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know people, people be like throw, throwing me for a loop sometimes. And I'm so gullible sometimes. So I'll believe whatever somebody tells me. <laughs> right but this is the nike uh valentine's day you know push and this is the first time i guess i could say i had it before valentine's day because <laughs> you know we're always getting these afters <laughs> I know this is the first time they did it right where it's kind of like why don't we release this a few weeks before the actual holiday so people who actually want to wear this to celebrate the holiday can it's always weird when you get it and then you're like well it's a week after valentine's day so do I just redress up for the holiday and pretend and be like hey throwback thursday everyone this is my valentine's day look <laughs> I just didn't have the kicks to match uh, but yeah, this, I mean, it's pretty simple. It actually really matches my headphones very, very well. <laughs> All right. And the laces are actually not your typical lace. They're satin. So let me see if you can kind of see it. They have a subtle sheen to them. To cars, but agreed with you, Takara, especially Halloween. Halloween is the one holiday where no one ever has the shoes, <laughs> ever. Exactly. Previous releases on that. Um, and then we have like a really nice kind of burgundy swoosh mark. You can kind of see the textures on here. Let me see if I can get it up closer so you can kind of see that material. You know, it's actually almost like I thought it was velvet for a second, but this is definitely new buck. Yeah, but from from afar, it looks velvety, which is interesting because it's got a bit more texture to it and it's very slick. Uh, but I will say the quality on these isn't bad and I won these on an in-store raffle it was funny the woman checking me out was like I didn't even know these were releasing I want them <laughs> I know I was like you gotta snag yourself a pair but uh oh somebody's like oh there's Mons I know for those of you who are just jumping on the live where it's the uh you know shorts format a vertical we are also streaming on youtube still if you're on youtube on the vertical end of things where you can also see mons and hear her or else if you want to stay here i'm still relaying what mons is sort of saying throughout <laughs> exactly Ooh. I like the burgundy crush. Yeah, it's got some nice purple Bordeaux hues and the green, but it also has a vintage kind of aesthetic. It looks like almost like a, is it been tie dyed almost, Mons? Is there like some pixelation? like purple on the green. Okay, got it.
Yeah. Got some details on there. Oh, we got a hand. That was cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Di Diamond's asking when those release, because it sounds like she wants a pair. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I think, when was the release date on those? Cause I was going to say, I feel like that it, that was an early act or EA type of release, right? The one your hubby got or yeah. From the skate shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, diamond. So if you want to get those dunks, check them out on the sneakers app. I feel like somebody just asked, I think it was Willie Steen who was asking about like keeping up with sneaker releases now. It's really hard, Willie, to be honest with you. Like it has, it's been very difficult. I feel like just because there's so many different brands coming into the mix, especially for somebody who isn't only shopping for Jordans and Nikes. Like if you're trying to actually extend yourself into other brands, it's honestly, it's a lot to, you know, keep up with. And then unless you're on, you know, these different social platforms and getting updates, like a normal human being would not be able to, I feel like, keep up with like every single release that's happening. And sometimes we get shock drops or, you know, surprises and things like that. This was a pickup that I just won on a raffle uh, today. And these are the new Kobe's. So I wanted to save this for last. <laughs> you struck out. Okay. Yeah. So these are the Core Purple, and it released in two different color variations. I really wanted the Core Purple, though. I, I like teal, but of course, you know, it's it's nice to have a good solid purple hue because it always reminds me of Kobe in general. But um, they did a good job with this. Let me see. I'll hold it up so everybody can kind of see. The materials up close here. Yeah. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite basketball sports performance silhouettes, uh, specifically like for my feet. Uh, so I always gravitate to Kobe's. I know a lot of people have, you know, been longtime fans of any type of Kobe. Uh, so really excited that, you know, they dropped these two different color variations. And it's something different. I like that they decided to go, you know, with the different numbers kind of intertwined all over the, you know, uh, mesh which is different, something we haven't seen before. Um, and again, just, it's a nice purple. I'm weird with purples and I, I, they did a good job with this purple. They really did. Are you gonna review the Air Max Plus Drift? I'm like re reading two chat boxes here. This is new for me, everyone. So, <laughs> uh, and Ma Mons can't see this one. So we're, we're on both. Though I guess you could play the live as well, Mons, on your phone while we're watching this too. But um, somebody's asking <laughs> about the Air Max Plus Drift or Nike Griffey Max 1. I saw the new um, Nike Griffey's. I've always been a fan. I mean, I'm a... Seattle, I'm from Seattle, huge Mariners fan. Um, so I pretty much, if I can, because they're so hard to get, I always try and pick up a pair of the Griffies when they do release. Um, but I'm probably going to go after those. So we'll see. I know it's been a minute since we posted, you know, some sneakers on the channel, but we're going to get back into the rhythm of things and start doing our usual programmed content. And of course, Mons and I will be on as consistent as we can as well for the podcast. 
Um, and Mons is actually, everybody, doing jiu-jitsu, which is so cool. So don't mess with her. You know, she's going to be my, Mons, you're going to be my security now. If I need, like, somebody to defend me, I'm like, Mons, come with me everywhere. <laughs> Yes. Wow. So badass, Mons. You're so cool. Now we're going to have a separate channel for you, right? You're going to be starting a jujitsu, like, how-to channel. She's going to become that good, I'm sure. leveling up and doing it. For those of you who aren't hearing Mons, she's talking about jujitsu and um, really exciting new hobby for her. So excited for you. Willie Steen, you're slowing down. That's, that's cool, Willie. I know, you know, this, this year, last year, I feel like people have definitely been slowing down with their sneaker pickups and I feel like for everyone, there shouldn't be any pressure out there for you to feel, you know, like you have to keep up with all of these sneaker releases. I think it's important for you to buy sneakers that work for you and that are your aesthetic, you know. I love just kind of showcasing sneakers, but I don't ever want to be that person that's like, you need all of these, you know. Clearly, I have a, I have a YouTube channel that is surrounded around sneakers, so I am not your average human. Mons is not your average human. You know, we're definitely creators that love this space because we've been doing this and we love, you know, picking up shoes, talking about shoes, styling shoes. And of course, with this podcast, we're just happy to be, you know, women out here in this space that are able to, to talk about things that excite us in the sneaker community. And, you know, there's always just fun things going on. And of course, drops that we're also trying to constantly keep up with and understanding, you know, what the different companies are dropping. But again, we're, we're human. We're just like you. We're not computers or AI over here that are just injecting ourselves like the matrix with downloading everything from every company. And we've got all that information in there. It's like, let me give you the lowdown on 2024. I'm going to go through every month and tell you every hundreds and hundreds of pairs of sneakers that will be dropping from February all the way till December. You know, that would be pretty incredible. Uh, somebody's watching us on Apple Vision, girl. <laughs> Who's got the Apple Vision glasses? How many of you, raise your hand if you're watching us on Apple Vision right now. <laughs> I know. It's, you got to drop a lot, Mons. What is it? 30, $3,700 or something like that. I saw them at the Apple store. I put them on. I... I feel like it's going to take a lot of getting used to for me to like navigate that. It's like a different world. I feel like a Black Mirror episode did something on something like this, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely a Black Mirror. One day we might just be walking around with those and everyone will have them on their faces, right? <laughs> It'll just be a part of our day-to-day -day lives. Exactly. Jer, you've tried to slow down as well. Wondering if I'm going to be doing more of my styling videos. Yes, we are definitely going to go back to the regular programming of me doing my typical unboxings. Uh, for those of you who have been watching kind of, I guess, the content that I've been pumping out, I just got back from Sundance in Park City, Utah, which is one of the biggest, I would say, the biggest, most prestigious probably be film festivals for like indie films in the US. And, you know, we 
as Shade TV have kind of expanded into what's called Shade Studios. So, you know, we have a full on editorial desk and we've taken on about 12 different writers. And so we'll be kind of just fusing into a larger entity. So not just covering sneakers, we'll be kind of venturing into some fun genres, specifically being movie reviews and interviewing different celebrities. So if you are interested in, you know, movie reviews, topics surrounding movies and actors and actresses, we are definitely going to have that on our website, but we're also working on a brand new YouTube page. So we're going to start kind of diffusing the content that we put out on Shade TV that focuses primarily primarily on kind of our film and press interviews and moving those over to a completely different page so that Shea TV can kind of be more reserved, I guess, for She Speaks sneakers, but also just content that's more focused primarily on, you know, sneakers and the releases and my pickups that I have. Uh, but would definitely be excited for all of you once, you know, we're ready to kind of push our brand new, you know, channel to go on over there too, because I know most of you, if not all of you, watch movies in your free time, and it's just something that I love and I'm passionate about. And Mons and I also, as you've probably heard on some of our earlier podcasts, love anime. So that's something that, you know, we hope to talk about too in the future. Um, oh, yes. AJ just put it up. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. She speaks anime as well. And Mons and I are excited because I guess Mons, for the first time ever, we're going to get to meet at San Diego Comic-Con. So definitely maybe what we should do moving forward, Mons, is having people vote on what we should dress up as for Comic-Con. Tell us what sneakers you want us to wear as well. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, it is. We're going to have plenty of opportunities to dress up. So for those of you who can't hear Mons, maybe we'll start a poll. So every time we go live, I'll put up some kind of poll and you all can have at it and pick some options for us to dress up as and of course what sneakers we should be wearing we're definitely thinking about the powerpuff girls that may have to be a must because of course we've got the dunks for that um it'll be interesting though maybe we'll get some fun sneakers this year too that we can kind of coordinate into the looks that we go for somebody's voting for zatana you guys have someone else with you then you guys could go as yrp from ff X. Okay. All right. We got some, we got some options here. We'll start making some different polls for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peer pressured Mons, everyone. I'm making her cosplay with me. <laughs> no, I like, you're doing it. <laughs> oh my God. It, no joke, Mons. I surprised I survived last year. <laughs> Terrence is going with Catwoman. He's funny. Catwoman, huh? I feel like we could definitely, we were thinking of doing something from X-Men even because Ronnie did that collab last year. So that could be something for sure on the table. Uh, for those of you who are on both of these, it looks like AJ did put up our new page, which should have a link on there for Shade Studios. Uh, so if you do enjoy the content that we 
offering uh, on the channel right now, currently revolving around movies and our press and reviews, definitely head on over there and subscribe to that channel. I uh, would love to have your support over there as well. And um, we just announced today, actually, we're going to be at South by Southwest, uh, which will be my very first time. I'm super excited. For those of you who've been, uh, definitely give me some tips. This will be my first year. I'm super excited. Uh, but there'll be a lot of movie premieres uh, going on there. I think actually Air last year premiered at South by Southwest. And I think, did Barbie premiere there too, I think? They had their world uh, premiere there. So it's a pretty big uh, film festival event where some of the biggest movies actually do their world premieres. So really excited to see who will be premiering their films this year. And it's also a music festival, Mons. It's like this, it's everything all rolled up into one. Yeah. Tech. Yes. Uh, there'll be there'll be plenty of content, um, but I know Mons, you're gonna have to have a hard stop here. So, everyone who jumped in on any of these lives, whether you were on the shorts live or this, you know, horizontal live with Mons and I, or on any of the other platforms, thank you so much for jumping on board with us. I know that we haven't been on for the past month, but we're back at it, and we're hoping to do this live stream once a week. If you're not already following Mons, Mons. Uh, let them know where they can find you. There has, there's so many platforms, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> a lot <laughs> yeah well happy to be back on here with you mons happy new year to everyone uh i guess this is my first live technically this year so yeah good to see you all back in here really excited for 2024 i hope all of you have had a great start to this year and i'm wishing you all the best and we'll catch you all next week and mons is gonna go kick butt in her jiu-jitsu class and i'm just gonna be awaiting her to defend me <laughs> All right, be sure to hit that subscribe as well, everyone, um, and check out our memberships if you have not already, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a good night.